milk production system in India is quite different to that of industrialized countries. Generally, the dairy animals in India are fed on food crop byproducts like crop residues and agro-industrial byproducts with very little or no food grains and cultivated green fodder. It is primarily the bronze, oil seed meals, chunnis and other agro-industrial byproducts which are used as concentrate feed ingredients for the dairy ration. Although the land under green fodder production in India is declining, milk production is growing at the rate of 4% annually, mainly due to increase in availability of byproducts of food grains and oil seeds, produced primarily to meet the needs of the human population. It clearly indicates that unlike intensive dairy production system, milk production system in India does not compete for land and water resources used for human food production. A carbon footprint of milk is a measure of the impact human activities have on the environment in terms of the amount of greenhouse gases produced, measured in units of carbon dioxide equivalent per unit of milk. The Food and Agriculture Organization has reported that the carbon footprint of milk production is lower in industrialized regions as compared to those in developing regions of the world, including South Asia. The Cradle to Farm Gate Life Cycle Assessment Model Study conducted by NDDB in India shows that the average carbon footprint of milk production was 1.9 and 2.5 kg carbon dioxide equivalent per kg fat and protein corrected milk for cow and buffalo respectively, which is significantly lower than the corresponding values reported by the FAO for South Asia and almost similar to that of reported for industrialized countries, that is 1.7. Lower carbon footprint of crop residues based milk production system in India is primarily due to the fact that animals ration does not contain significant quantity of grains and green fodder which requires a large amount of energy and fertilizers for their production. In addition, processing of feed ingredients and use of farm machinery is minimum which requires significant energy. Therefore, Energy used in fodder production, harvesting, fodder distribution to animals, dung collection, milking, etc. is non-significant. Under the National Dairy Plan 1, ration balancing program is being implemented by the NDDB in various states of India. Studies conducted in various regions of India indicate that on feeding nutritionally balanced rations, there is significant reduction in carbon footprint of milk in cows and buffaloes. The reduction in carbon footprint of milk was mainly due to the lower enteric methane production through feeding a balanced ration. Improved feed conversion efficiency for milk production and reduction in nitrous oxide emissions from manure. Under NDP1 about 2.7 million animals would be covered in 40,000 villages by the end of the year 2018. To reach a very large number of milk producers across various states, NDDB has also developed an Android-based application, Pashu Potion, through which a milk producer is able to obtain a balanced ration output for his animal. Large-scale use of this application can be quite beneficial to milk producers for improving milk production and reducing carbon loss in the environment. A milk producer having compatible device can download this application by registering on INAPH, Information Network for Animal Productivity and Health Portal. With this modest initiative, benefits of the program are likely to reach a large number of milk producers. Small Holding Mixed Crop Livestock Production System in India 
is one of the least environmental impacting production system. And large-scale implementation of ration balancing program would serve as a benchmark for improving productivity further and reducing GHG emissions. India's milk production is based on farmer-friendly and nature-friendly models.